हाई एवरी वन ये तो सबने सुना होगा दैट यू शुड हैव अ स्ट्रॉन्ग प्रोफाइल बट हैज एनी वन एवर केयर टू एक्सप्लेन वॉट आर ऑल द डिफरेंट थिंग्स दैट यू कैन डू सच दैट यू हैव अ स्ट्रॉन्ग प्रोफाइल सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर फोर डिफरेंट बकेट्स अ सी वी कैन एक्चुअली भी डिवाइडेड इन टू फोर पार्ट्स सो एम गॉन शेयर वॉट दोज फोर पार्ट्स आर एंड देन वॉट आर द डिफरेंट एक्टिविटीज दैट यू कैन टेक अप अंडर ईच पार्ट Let's start with the first part, which is your co-curricular activities. Now, of course, after academics, you would generally want to talk about the activities that you did in alignment of your academics, which is co-curriculars. So, the first thing that you can do as a part of co-curriculars are scholarships. There are a lot of scholarships offered, both on the basis of merit as well as need. But the problem is, a lot of people don't know about these scholarships. So, I'm going to put just one link in the description that will let you know what are all the different scholarships. scholarships offered within india the second is olympiads now we might have heard of olympiads only at the school level but what we are not aware of is that a lot of olympiads are actually conducted at the college level as well in fact a lot of working professionals can also participate in these olympiads so i am going to put two links in the description which will lead to a list of the olympiads that you might be eligible for number 3 is case study competitions many of you must have heard of it but what a lot of you don't know is that even as an individual you can participate in case study competitions not only in india but also abroad so in india there is a website called dare to compete a lot of you might have heard of it it just recently got rebranded as unstop then there's another website globally called studentcompetition.com these are the two websites i would highly recommend in case you want to participate in case study competitions i'll put the links in the description as well next is online courses this is something everybody would be familiar with but what a lot of people don't know is that you don't necessarily need a certificate in order to add an online course in your cv even if you have taken a free course you can still list it in your cv as long as you don't need it to be vetted by the placecom agency so if you are making it to any normal b school which doesn't vet your cv or even if you are making a cv for your job or internship you don't necessarily need to have a certificate for your online courses you can simply mention them as long as you know what was in that course the next is professional courses if you have done ca cs cfa any such professional courses they also come under co curricular activity next is live projects you could do a project on your own that is you take up a case study for a particular organization and you do it for free for them or you could be a part of a corporate and be doing a live project for them or you could even tie up with an iim or an iit professor and work under them for a research project all of these are live projects next is research papers if you are very scholastic or academically driven probably writing a research paper is something you can take up next is languages now here i mean two kinds of languages of course first is your general languages like english or french or spanish and korean in fact so learn a language for yourself unless you're pretty sure that you would want to work in a certain country for example i did have some friends who learned french specifically because they wanted to work in a european country and that too they went to exchange for the same purpose but you should have that clarity if you don't have it if you just want to learn a language for yourself go ahead and do it and learn any language of your choice the second types of languages that i was talking about were the technical languages so if you like coding learning those languages can also be of benefit to you conferences we always think of cv points as achievements but even attending webinars conferences seminars that are of help can be of a lot of benefit to you so when i was an undergraduate student i did go to an nsc workshop which was organized which was a part of my cv so you can always include such workshops or seminars that you attend now we come to the second bucket which is work experience under work experience everybody knows that jobs and internships definitely feature but two more points that you can include here are one part time jobs so part time jobs can also be a part of work experience as far as making a cv is concerned so if you are studying as well as working alongside or you are tutoring someone you can definitely add it here in fact even if you are a content creator you can surely add it here the next part that a lot of people don't know about is freelancing that can also be a part of work experience bucket now let's move on to the third bucket which is positions of responsibility so under positions of responsibility if you are a college student and if you have clubs and societies in your college then you can surely be a member of such clubs or in fact if your college organizes fest then you can also be a fest organizer or an event organizer within your fest or if you don't have any of these then you could be a campus ambassador in the events that are organized 
by other colleges festivals or clubs and society other than this you could also be a volunteer there are a lot of private events that are organized a lot of ngos also organize events so you could be a volunteer there and finally you could also be a member of the student union in case you have one in your college now let's move on to the fourth bucket which is extracurricular activities within extracurricular activities the biggest component is performing arts so if you were into dance music or fine arts then these can be a part of performing arts and you can include all sorts of activities that you did as a part of it it's not necessary for it to be designated or certified by anyone as long as you have done these activities you can surely put them here next component are the club events that are organized it might so happen that you don't organize an event but you were a part of an event that took place for example you participated in a competition that was organized by let's say the finance club of a particular institute then that event or that achievement or participation would be an extracurricular activity next is exhibitions so when i was in my school i was a part of the national science exhibition team so we presented our project there so if you have been a part of any exhibition if you've attended one you can surely mention it here next is sports a lot of you might have taken up sports as an undergrad student or as a school student so you can surely include any of those achievements or participation or even if you did not do anything that gets certified you can still mention it here social work ngo work anything that you did which was not for profit can also be a part here and if you have a social media presence if you're an influencer if you have a blog of your own any kind of social media presence or following can be a part of extracurricular activities and can certainly be mentioned here when i was a college student i had an account on quora with a certain number of followers which i did mention in my cv and finally as a part of extracurricular activities you can mention any of your hobbies that you're pursuing anything that you like doing that you find creative for example ad analysis could be one of them for example learning about the airlines industry could be one of them sewing could be one of them gardening could be one of them it could actually be anything and everything that you just like to pursue so these are all the activities that i can think of that can be a part of your cv and can make for a good profile a simple tip that i have here is to make a balanced cv some people have a cv wherein they have so many extracurricular achievements but then there's nothing under work experience or they would have so much work experience but nothing under co-curricular achievements. So try having a fair bit of representation of each of these buckets to make for a balance C. That's all from my end. If you have a question, leave it in the comments below.